Hi everyone, so today in this video I'm going to kind of talk about my first trimester. As I mentioned in my last video, which was my first pregnancy video, my first pregnancy video, it was my 28th week update. I said I was going to backtrack and kind of cover like the beginning parts of my pregnancy up to that 28 eight weeks just because I wasn't able to film during, you know, the, the large portion of my pregnancy. So I kind of wanted to kind of go back and kind of like cover it just for myself if and then if you're interested then keep watching. So as I mentioned this um, in this video, I'm going to talk about my, about my first trimester. So I think the major thing about my first trimester is my morning sickness. It was just so bad. And the funny thing is, is that I knew that I was going to get bad morning sickness because with Nona, who's, who's my first child, my only child, um, morning, my morning sickness was really bad or I thought it was really bad. Um, and, but this time around it was actually even worse and I, I almost couldn't believe it I guess and I wasn't prepared because it happened a lot sooner than with Noinoi and I think that's kind of what threw me off. So with Noinoi I um, got my morning sickness pro after my 8 week ultrasound, after 8 weeks because I remember going into my 8 week ultrasound and the technician asked me, oh, how are you feeling, blah, 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 and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm starting to get a little nauseous and I remember saying that like specifically at my eight week ultrasound and then probably thereafter I started throwing up. Um, but this time around, I hadn't even gotten to my fourth week ultrasound. It was literally the day before of my four, fourth week ultrasound that I threw up and I remember going into, into my doctor's office and saying, um, I threw up already like last night. And so that was kind of like, that's kind of weird. I, I just thought it was kind of weird and I I know every pregnancy is different, but I just wasn't expecting it that fast. And um, so I, I think that's kind of what threw me off. And also um, around that time, my mom got, you know, knee surgery on her other knee. And so that was also kind of like, it, it kind of, it was, it was, what ended up happening is that because she went into um, surgery around that time, Nana had to start going to um, to uh, school every day, like full time. She only usually goes twice a week, and so um, so it just kind of I don't know. Like I guess it kind of made things a little harder, just because it was you know I would have to take her every day to school and things like that. I'm not complaining at all. And I'm so glad that my mom got surgery and that she's doing really well. But that's kind of like like what ha what happened. Also, another difference um, between Nene and um, this time around when I was pregnant is that when I was pregnant with Nene, I was teaching. And I was an adjunct professor and I was teaching... Um, when you're an adjunct professor, you're you're basically like a part-time teacher, kind of. Like you are, you just teach however many classes. And at that time I was teaching three classes and um, so like I basically I think it was like the classes met maybe once a week and I would so I only really had to go in three times a week for maybe like two hours for each session. So um, whereas this time around so basically you know I could do like lesson planning and things like that at home like when you know when it was convenient for me and the only time I was really obligated to be somewhere was when I actually had to go teach. This time around I am I was working full-time and um, I was working full-time so it was it it was a drastic difference and also I had a child versus the first time I was childless it was my it was gonna be my first child and um, like I didn't have anyone else to take care of so like when you're a mom you have like way more things to do you know after work then so whereas like the first time around I could sleep pretty much whenever I wanted and things like that but anyway so those are like some differences of this time and last time so my morning sickness this time around started at four weeks and my morning sickness is pretty much nausea, vomiting, a lot of vomiting and um, just being really tired and so, um, let's see, and so 
I thought my last pregnancy morning sickness was really bad, but this was just way worse. Like I said, it started earlier and I think maybe the most times I threw up in my first pregnancy was maybe like four times and maybe that only happened like two or three times like throughout my, mor my morning sickness. But this time it got up to like five to six times and you know working full time it was like I just I couldn't I couldn't do it you know like it was it was just it was just too much and I think I was just so tired so exhausted and just you know like I was commuting back and forth um, because I you know no no school and my my work were are far were far away well not like totally far away but uh, well, relatively far away but anyway it, it could take like 45 minutes like average 45 minutes like half an hour to it could take half an hour to an hour to commute um, so I would say like average around 45 minutes each way and um, so I I kind of I kind of just couldn't do it anymore um, so it was a hard decision to decide to take medical leave but it just it just made sense for me and I didn't I didn't know I've never taken medical leave and I didn't know what it was going to be like but um, I hadn't gone on vacation for an entire year last year and I had been there for like over a year with my job and I hadn't taken vacation so I had three weeks vacation um, built up and then I had um, I hadn't taken any sick days so I had like maybe a week of sick days, if not more. And so I had at least a month that I could cover. Um, so I talked to, you know, like I talked to my boss and trying to say like, look, I, I need to go on medical leave. Um, and uh, I didn't know how, how I was gonna do it. I didn't know if I, if I had to use up all that time or if I could take unpaid time because what ended up happening or what, was going to happen was I was I knew that I was already going to be laid off um, in the beginning of the summer or the sometime in the summer, so it was like really a bummer because I didn't want to use all of my vacation time because I would you know get that vacation time when I left. Um, so I talked to my doctor. So she said that um, well we'll help you get set up on disability and I didn't know what disability was, and I didn't know that it was an option and things like that.